Jade Hosunier <laughs> plays the handsome and elegant fairy Melorian in Freeform's hit series Shadowhunters. The series follows a girl who, on her 18th birthday, finds out Wild. that she comes from a long line of human angel hybrids who hunt down demons. Take a look. Jonathan. In the flesh. Resurrection brought back my real face. Feels good to be back. Oh, I was hoping you'd do that. I can feel it. It's this darkness. It's growing. To overcome your demons, you have to face them. I'm looking at all the leader of the pack needs right here in front of me. I won't lose you. I can't. Come back to me, Simon. You have so much more to live for. I'll love you until I die. It is my honor to pronounce you one. This is it, isn't it? I'm so sorry. I promised I would never leave your side. I'll see you in hell. This is who I am. Join me. Shadow Hunters, the final episodes begin Monday, February 25th at 8. <laughs> Everyone, please put your hands together for Jade Husunye! <laughs> Hey, I'm so hey. glad to be here. A little birdie told me it's your birthday. Really? A little birdie told me it's oh your birthday. Oh my god, birthday. happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Should I Aquarius? Aquarius Pisces cup? Yes, check it out. Oh my god, living your best oh, life. I'm gonna borrow that. Oh, I love it. Are you doing anything fun to celebrate? I'm uh, hopefully gonna see some friends. Yep. Uh, check out the city. You're on this show. Yep. I'm on this show. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah. It's, always, it's always so fun to do uh, what you love on your birthday. I, being on stage, I agree. being on set, being on here. I agree, especially when you're drunk. It's, it makes it even better. <laughs> Do I seem drunk? No, I'm drunk. <laughs> no, I'm <kidding. laughs> no, I'm drunk. Um, yeah. um, so obviously Shadowhunters is such a yes. huge hit, and fans are so excited to see how everything wraps up. So what can they expect from this next season? They I can expect hell to explode everywhere. <laughs> and uh, to finally have you know everybody come together and fight for the final fight. Right. You know, it's going to end on a big crescendo, so it's, it's, it's a good, great thing. Yeah. And have you finished filming? We have. So what was that like for you in those final scenes and those final days? It was, it was crazy. It was, um, it was is it happy and sad at the same time, but we have so much fun on set, you know? And, and it was interesting because we finished season three and then we all left to tour Europe to meet the fans. Uh -huh. And then they told us, you have to come back <laughs> and shoot the, the end, yeah. which is like a two episode, you'll see, thing. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and you know, it's tough because some people are not available, some people are, some, you know, so we, we had to kind of make it happen. I was happy to go and, you know, I really wanted to go just to spend uh, one last big epic time with, with my friends. Yeah. Were there uh, tears? Family. Did you guys have a big party? What was that like? I missed it because I had to go back to Europe. Uh -huh. But everybody had like tons of champagne everywhere <laughs> and all the sets and like, it seemed really fun. Yeah. But, I mean, we party all the time. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, can you tell us about your character? And I want to know, is there any like similarities between you two? Yes, there are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Which my part? character. The okay, so, so the, whole, the lore is, uh, is okay. So angels create hybrid beings that are, you know, shadow hunters. Then um, demon blood creates warlocks and like demon diseases, which is like uh, werewolves, vampires, and things like that. Fairies are a mix of both, angel angelic and de demonic blood, which creates fairies, mermaids, elves, things like that, okay? This. So they're, yeah. they're both, they're on both sides. And I feel like you're seducing me with this explanation. <laughs> I can't right. handle it. I'm giving you such yeah, a high I gotta look too. away. I'm like, you are your character. You're all, okay, first of all, you're all so cool. And I was cracking up backstage, and I'm so happy to be like, Oh, we love having you here. And I'm so happy you're all here. This yeah. is really, really Audience full of fans. Yeah, yeah, really yeah look, they're all, no, here they're all here for you. So many comfy couches there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, Melion is, it's interesting, because he has a conflict did sort of experience where he is uh, in the Seely Court, which is the fairy realm's court of the, you know, the queen and everything. And he's, he's the queen's right-hand man. He's sort of a prince. But there's a whole history of, about him that you can find in the books that explains why he's there and why he's the one that does, that represents the queen and all that stuff. Uh, can't say too much. Everybody knows. <laughs> the fandom knows already. But it's, uh, it'll, be, it'll be done differently in the show. Um, and similarities, I mean, I'm very, you know, even though I look like a city kid, I love nature. I love meditating, I'm very chill. I love consciousness and spiritual knowledge and things like that. You're very wise, by the way. All of oh, you are very wise. I really you. love the conversations. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to like answer everything at the same yeah. time. Yeah, you know? you're really good at that. You're good. Yeah. You're really good. 
You should just take our jobs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, you're doing a much better job than I. You fit. Yeah, yeah, New York Stadium. Couch. So glad. Okay, just good. Stay. Good, good, good. So, um, Ali and I actually yeah. went to NYU with one of your co-stars, Alberto. Yeah. And I knew him back in the day before he blew up on Shadowhunters like you. Hello. Apparently, he took a picture of you with a really funny story, and we have that picture. Show me. So let's show it. Let's see it. In oh. Yellow. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, what is Look the story this. behind In this? Nature. It's so not, tree. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. Yeah. He's so that. good. Uh, well, luckily, I had him to take promo shots. But no, no, Alberto just brought his camera. He's been exploring it uh, since we started the show uh -huh. and has just evolved as we go along. And a lot of people on the show take pictures. Like Mac takes pictures, Isaiah takes pictures, and they're all super good. Um, that day we were shooting in the Sealy Court. Can't say much, but <laughs> <laughs> it's cool because it looks like there's a lake right uh -huh. behind me, but there is no lake. Oh. That is completely mm. a light thing. Oh. Um, and we were in between shots, and then he's just like, oh, come, come, come here, let's go over there, like, let's take pictures. And yeah, and this, this, this happened, and it looks like a beautiful lake in the Sealy realm, and you know, all, all that is plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, it looks, nothing's real. It looks really hot, I'm into it. Yeah, um, I love it. And love the face tag. The, the, yeah. Alberto, so the, the rest of this cast, okay. I'm sure you guys are just like a giant family. What's it's it like, fun. what's it like been working with everyone for over the it's years? so fun. So fun, so fun. <laughs> it's been so fun, and it continues to be fun. And now we're right. traveling the world together, and it's just, just, you know, and I wish we could share, but I mean, some things we can't show because, you know, Freeform is like a family. And I would say any fun yeah. moment, but Freeform Disney is not going to want you to This is not a family yeah. channel. No, no, it is not. You can say whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah, no, go she's gone after Big Bird before, believe me. Hey. <laughs> oh, I used the bad word. Um, <laughs> no, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. We laugh a lot. Yeah. We laugh a lot. And people are, you know, able to focus. It's just, Sometimes after a long night, you know, you just can't. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Being, this show is such a big deal because when ABC Family rebranded as Freeform, yeah. Shadowhunters really was their first major show to kind of launch this rebrand. So yeah. what's, what has it been like being on a show? It's not only groundbreaking because of the source material it's from, but also because it kind of transformed this it network. It did. Yeah. It did and in a very intense way. At yeah. first, like some things I was like, Right. This is what you're wearing. <laughs> you know, it, it changed really quickly, but then it kind of like took some steps back. I think it, it tried to go really far uh -huh. fast. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the first scene with Emerald was very like, really right. Gay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm doing what? Like, <laughs> you're unzipping They're this. I'm like, gay. okay. That's not 25 days of um, Christmas ABC family, we know. <laughs> yeah. No, so uh, it was cool. I mean, it's cool. I'm, gl I'm glad we were able to rebrand them. And, mm -hmm. and now they're like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. no. It's been such a hugely <laughs> successful show. It still is, and yeah. it, will, it will, continue will continue to be. To be. Yes. You know, the fandom, and I keep saying that, they've existed before the show, and they will exist after the show. Totally. That whole world will continue on forever, and so will the connection between us and the fans. Yes. Because that will never end. That will never go away. So, you know, this story in this form with us in it is going to be its own thing. And so the things that... Ending is not the right word for all of right. this. So I, I can't say it's ending because it's not, you know? And uh, we all have such great lives coming, all of us, fans and us and everybody, and the connections will just grow. So there's tons of stuff I want to, I mean, I'm, cr I'm creating my music now and, yeah. and I'm trying to like solidify that connection and just go forward into the future, honoring the past, obviously, mm -hmm. but you know being open and, and joyful about all of this. It's, it's, it's not a time to despair at all. Yeah. Absolutely, and you just mentioned your music. You're releasing your de uh, debut EP, yeah. Love Letter to Fandom, yeah. under the name Forjade, is that? Oh, that's cool, that's yeah. That's multiple pronunciations. Uh, it's cool, yes, I love that you said Forjade. Four I mean, it's Jade with uh, four instead of an A, right? right? So I don't know, I want it to kind of become what it becomes. So okay. if you say 4 Jade and now everybody knows that it's 4 Jade, then it'll be 4 Jade. <laughs> we'll see what, yes, but tell us <laughs> no, what I mean, you're first. It's so funny because my producer like laughed so much when I when I released the name because he's the one that's been saying 4 Jade. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he's like joking about it, but then I then I said like some people say 4 Jade and he's like, he's, but I think it's a cool thing. I mean, we'll see what happens. Yeah, tell us a little about the Okay, the, yes. It, it, it. So a love letter to a fandom uh, dedicated to the fans to thank them for having changed my life. Um, um, and, you know, it, it's just something I've always wanted to do. It's, it's going to be pop music and influenced by, like, trap, by Tropical House, like, mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. But um, it's definitely a bridge into something new. So it's not about Shadowhunters mm -hmm. or anything like that. I do reference it. Uh, it's about the connection that we've built since Shadowhunters. And, you know, I've been traveling the world, meeting all kinds of people, and um, 
it's just the right time. It's the right time right now. So something I've been planning my whole life, and now the pieces make sense, and mm -hmm. I'm putting it all together. So expect something in June. Oh, uh, first, first oh. Sing the summer. Ooh. First single in June. It's called Insta Story. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. What's it about? It's about. Brittany's <laughs> <laughs> um, like, it's my birthday. Sing yeah. for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's about Insta Story. I mean, you know what it's about? Really, it's about it's 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 about love. It's like you know when you when you like someone and they kind of don't like you back. Oh my, Aww. are you in love? Uh, and they don't look at your story. I, I fall in love like every day, uh, <laughs> especially okay. traveling. It's kind of tough. But yeah. Someone, you know, you have a thing with them. Maybe, maybe it lasts for a little while and then it, it, it changes and they kind of don't care about you as much. Mm. And then you see their story just like oh. appear and you're like, Ugh. you're like, I shouldn't. And then you click on it and then they're having the best time ever and they don't need you at all because mm. they're just so happy without you and you're just like, oh. Yeah, that's what it's about. Mute. But the truth, the truth is they probably did that story so you could see it, and yeah. they're just as unhappy I as hope you so. are. I hope, I hope so, because when I wrote it, it was really like, OK, yeah, you clearly don't uh, feel the same way. But it's OK, because I wrote an awesome song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and also, you know, it's about Instagram, which is how I connect with the fans the most. Right. And Nobody's done an Insta story song, so there I you go. That. You clearly have so much love in your heart, and you also yeah. really care a lot about uh, advocacy and representation for the LGBTQ yes. community. Yes. Which, thank you so much. Tell us about <laughs> tell us about that and woo and your uh, <laughs> your passion flexible. for that community. Wow. <laughs> um, you know, it doesn't matter what you are or who you are. Like what, we're humans and. Thinking about like limiting ourselves in, in labels and things like that is so, so behind. Like it's yeah. such a, we shouldn't even have that conversation. Like we're, let's move, let's move on. Agreed. You know, let's move on ahead. Mm -hmm. Like we're humans. We we're different. Great. Great. Like the lab, the, the the getting past the label, I think is the next big thing for our generation. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Push yeah. Because everything's sort of being pushed into smaller sub labeling and right. all that yeah. stuff. But we shouldn't. We shouldn't. This is the opposite. We're we're infinite beings. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Infinite. Love who you want to love. Yeah. Love is love. Love, love is like, love. Like, it's love is love. It's so love. backwards. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, love, and it doesn't matter what you are. Yes. Uh, and so, it. what's next for you? We want to know. Uh, music. Music. You wanna say I want to transform everything into music. Really. Like, that's what I, where I'm the most happy. Where I'm most excited. Where I'm the most um, the joyful. I think. And it's the most fun. You know, being on set is super fun. Uh, the acting world is very fun. But I think the music world is a little bit more fun. Like, yeah. just, just, just in fashion, for example, you know, like things like that. I just want to, and it's fun and there's a connection. And like when there's a show, like we, we share something. And it's, it's not just a screen of a past existence. Right. It's a present thing. Ooh. People can bring that with you. Like I'm obsessed with so many different pop stars that I listen to every single day. And they help me, uh, you know, so who's your number one right now? Ali X. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and, I, and I know her from back in Toronto, and uh, she's doing such a good job. But Gaga's always a favorite. Lana's always a favorite. I, I'm like discovering so many Latin artists that I love. Jeff Kayla from Chile. Uh, Kevin Roldan I'm obsessed with right now. Uh, I love Drake, obviously. Uh, you know, there's so many good ones. There's so many good ones. It's like yeah. impossible to. But what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's next? What's next? What's next? Oh yeah, uh, you know some series that I've done with some beautiful friends who have created. You know, I, I'm I'm so into having friends that are so talented create their own stuff and then mm -hmm. being part of that. Mm -hmm. And um, there's some satisfaction that comes with it. And we're in a new era. Like networks, networks are just kind of like a mm -hmm. past thing. Yeah. And this sort of new thing is the new thing. Yeah. I find. So doing your own new thing. Uh, there's more opportunity for that. I'm more excited about that. I think uh, it's more advanced and there's less editing and less uh, silencing. So I'm down for projects, uh, like independent projects, but they all end up doing really well and becoming mainstream. Yeah. So um, I've got that. Uh, there's a video game I'm in it's called Starlink. It's out already. It's mm -hmm. on Nintendo Switch and all the other platforms. But on the Switch, Star Fox is part of it, like the, the Star Fox and his crew. and. You're doing a lot. You got a lot going. You're busy. Yeah, and we'll Seriously. see you everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever There's you do, it's going to be stuff. amazing because your energy is so amazing. Please come back and visit us. I right? Please have me again. Thank you for I'm so glad.